Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this is the second video in my mini-series on gaming accessories. In my first video, which I'll link at the end of this, I talked about headsets. I talked about high-end headsets, low-end headsets, the difference between them, which is pretty slight, by the way. And I just wanted to give you guys an honest look at how these things help you or don't help you. And I asked in the video for you to leave a comment on what you'd like to see reviewed next. And by far, the most popular thing were control freaks. These little guys right here. And uh, they stick on the end of your controller stick and they're supposed to help you play. So let's zoom in, I'll show you what they do and how they help you, what to expect, what not to expect, and we'll do this. <laughs> All right, this is my controller. And the controller itself is going to be the subject of another video in this series. But right now we're talking about the Control Freak. You can see I've got this thing on the right stick only. They come in pairs and they come in a bunch of different styles. Um, I use this one here. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it has kind of a, a concave, like a, a dip in here. Right, and then they also come in convex. I hope I have these words right because there's something about me that just mixes them. And the convex, I think, is the rounded top. These are marketed to football ones, but they also have shooter ones that they market with a, a, a rounded top. To some people, this makes a big difference. People who use both, like people who come from the PS3 to the Xbox find that the um, rounded tops of the PS3 controller is a big advantage. But uh, I guess as an Xbox guy, to me, I don't find any difference at all. I'm completely comfortable with the, the, the you know, dip one, and I, don't it, I, I can't tell the difference. So, uh, so if you're paying extra for the rounded top, for me, that's not worth it. But I think if you kept asking around, you'd find people who say it is worth it. My guess is if you're coming from the PS3, you'll prefer the rounded top. If you're coming from the Xbox, you'll prefer the dip top. And maybe just get what you prefer. What they're supposed to do is this. Uh, there, there's two things that this can, that the extension of the stick is supposed to help with. One is that micro aim, right? You know that situation where you try to aim at the guy, but you're actually aiming right next to him. So you have to do this little micro aim. If you don't have the stick on, you're moving this thing like a millimeter. You know, it, it's a very small amount. If you do have the stick on, to get the equivalent like change in it, then you would move it maybe two millimeters. You move this top part two millimeters because it's a longer lever, right? The, the top moves and more than the bottom does to do the same thing. And it helps, I, I find it actually does help me to get that kind of you know, little micro aim, to get that little bit of difference to, if I, if I need to adjust just a tiny bit to get on target, then this thing is really helpful to me. When I don't have it, I have to lower my sensitivity. I tend to play on like a four and if I grab some random controller that I'm not familiar with, I have to lower it to a two or a three because I'm not used to aiming without it. That's the thing. And then the other side is this, right? These, these sticks don't move smoothly. There's kind of a dead spot. There's like an initial sort of resistance that you overcome. And then there's less resistance after that first, you know, get it moving. And uh, because of that, when you aim, it's easy to like go too far, then have to go back, and you keep fighting this sort of sticky you know, middle spot that, that the controller wants to respond, return to. Sorry about that. Well, what this is supposed to do, because of the added leverage, when you pull the top of this, it takes a lot less effort than it does to, say, pull the top of this. I can really feel it as I, as I do these things. So by extending your aiming stick here for a shooter, uh, you have to use less energy to sort of you know break it off the middle and it's not about being tired I, i'm saying energy but it takes less force so you can have a little more precision when you need to make those small aiming adjustments and that's why i like control freaks um, the control freak would have you put one on either stick and i find that i only like it on my aiming stick and i think that's even more popular than using two at once and the other good side is when they wear out you have a replacement for me I'm finding these things last between like 9 and 12 months, and I don't know if the camera will pick up what happens to them. Here it is. This thing has a very small crack right next to there that goes to the center. And if I spread it, you might be able to see it a little more clearly. That is how they wear. And I don't know why that happens. I don't know if it's through normal use, or I'm sure I've dropped this thing, or, or whichever one it was attached to before this. I find control freaks last longer than controllers for me but they don't last forever, maybe a year. And I like to replace controllers like every three or six months. So um, uh, anyway, these things last about nine to 12 months for me and then I replace them because they get that little crack and then eventually they don't stay on as well as they're supposed to. So I grab the other one from the set and I stick it on and I use that instead. Um, that's how it works. So what else do I say about control freaks? That those are the two things and now I'm just repeating myself. 
with the leverage, it's a little easier to break free of the center and you can move more. I, I think like if you were to take a mouse and aim, one of the reasons those guys have such high precision is that you know, for them to do aiming, they have like six inches of mouse movement to do their thing or three inches or whatever it is. But for you as a um, controller operator, you have like one inch to do all your aiming. If everything a, a PC player did was within, you know, like half an inch or three quarters of an inch, whatever this is, then uh, they would probably have as tough a time aiming as a controller guy has. Or maybe it's the spring load that, that makes it hard to aim. I'm not sure. But I think everybody agrees PC guys aim more accurately than console guys. And it's not because they're a superior race. It's because their aiming device allows for more precision. And this, I think, is an advantage over a stock Xbox controller. That's it. They cost... I forget what they cost, like $10 or $11. I try to be completely honest about my relationship with, with these gaming accessory companies. I do have a deal where if you use my coupon code or something like that, then you save a dollar and I get a dollar, but I have a partner, so I get like 50 cents. Um, I'll, hunt it, I'll hunt it down and see if I can save you a dollar. If not, I'll like give you a friend's code or something like that. I stopped working with them professionally, I guess you'd call it, because they don't pay in money. They pay in gift certificates and... Like, I'm, you know, like, you know, look, I, I, I'm a grown-up, you know, I don't, I don't get take payment and give certificates. So, uh, um, you know, and, I, and I, the only reason I tell you guys all of this is because I want you to be honest. Like, I don't, I want to be honest. I don't want you guys to think that, like, I'm trying to hawk stuff uh, to you that, you know, where you don't understand my relationship with the company. I don't know when the last time you saw me pimp Control Freak stuff was. It was probably two years ago. So anyway, these are Control Freaks. I, I honestly do believe in them. I'll throw some links in the description of this, and you can buy them if you feel like it. And, uh, and there you have it. Um, and, and I just want to throw in one last. They have a couple different models. To me, I, I think the right answer is you buy the normal concave ones if you're from the Xbox, and you buy the rounded ones if you're from the PS3. And, uh, and that's my Control Freak Does It Actually Help review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll try and pay attention and uh, maybe update the description or reply to your comment or whatever. So uh, have a good day. Okay, two videos you may have missed. Uh, the top one is Mail Monday. My long-term subscribers know Mail Monday. It's where I answer your questions. It always goes over real well. And the bottom one is pretty exciting. It is the Killstreak reveal for Black Ops 2. If you've seen somebody else's Killstreak reveal video but not mine, then you're missing out because I have other stuff going on, like the time in that the game takes place, like what year the game happens in, which might not be what you expect, um, a futuristic new gun that appears in the game, and other cool stuff that, that I haven't seen in anybody else's reveal videos. So check those out and and uh, surprise video on the right. If you enjoyed this, subscribe in the top right. Have a good day.